हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू फिजिक्स ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर क्लास इलेवन स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस कंटिन्यू चैप्टर फोर मोशन इन ए प्लेन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन पार्ट वन एज वी हैव स्टडीड द बेसिक टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास यू कैन रिमेंबर एंगल ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन वेलॉसिटी ऑफ प्रोजेक्शन वॉट इज प्रोजेक्शन वॉट इज ट्रेजेक्टरी सो द फ्यू टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू प्रोजेक्टाइल मोशन वी स्टडी Now let us study in detail about projectile motion part one. So first we are going to study about equation of trajectory of projectile. Trajectory means the path traveled by the projectile. The path traveled by the projectile that is a trajectory. Now let us find equation of trajectory of projectile. Or in your examination you may get the question like. to prove that trajectory of projectile is a parabola means the path of the projectile is just like a parabola that we can find here yes observe this picture we considered a body projected with an initial velocity u so o is the projection point from this point we are going to project a body and the body is moving with velocity u this is the initial velocity of a body which is projected in the space then this initial velocity that making an angle theta with the horizontal surface here at any instant of time t it makes angle theta then the projectile is at the point p the projectile is at the point p that means that body is going to be projectile from the point p then x y axis we considered x and y axis let x be the horizontal distance traveled by the projectile and y is the vertical distance traveled by the projectile x is horizontal distance y is vertical distance traveled by the projectile now i am going to resolve this initial velocity u into two components we already studied resolution of a vector if this is a vector u this vector is resolved into two components the first component is along x axis the second component is along y axis this is resolution of a vector means resolve initial velocity u into two components those two components are u cos theta along x axis u sin theta along y axis u cos theta u sin theta these are the components of initial velocity u along x and y axis is it clear observe here for vertical motion that is from o to p vertical motion from o to p we can consider here when it is traveling from o to p the distance it traveled is along y axis initial velocity we can take it as this is along y axis means initial velocity is u sin theta time is t what about acceleration because this object is in the space it is in the vertically upward direction acceleration due to gravity gravitational force is vertically downward acceleration is opposite to the acceleration due to gravity so acceleration we can take a equal to minus g for vertical motion observe here resolve initial velocity u into two components we are going to resolve or divide into two components the first component is u cos theta so this is along x axis and another one is u sin theta and this is along y axis these are the two components of initial velocity u now now i am going to consider vertical motion from o to p let us consider for vertical motion vertical motion we can take from o to p you can observe the diagram from o to p we are going to consider vertical motion 
So what is the displacement? We can write displacement is denoted by S, but this is along Y axis. So we can take Y because this is vertical motion. Vertical means in the upper direction. I, I can take displacement is equal to Y axis. Then initial velocity, initial velocity here, we know that initial velocity u is resolved into two components that is u cos theta and u sin theta here. Which component we have to consider? We have to consider u sin theta because this is along y axis vertically upward. So I am going to write initial velocity means we have to consider its component which is along y axis that is u sin theta. Then Time, we can take it as a t. Acceleration, what is the acceleration of this projectile? Acceleration from O to P vertically upward, the object is moving. Vertically upward means acceleration of the particle is exactly opposite to gravitational force because acceleration due to gravity is vertically downward, but the projectile is vertically upward. A equal to, we can take it as minus g. Is it clear? Displacement is y, initial velocity is u sin theta, time is t and a equal to minus g. Now I am going to consider the equations of motion that is s equal to ut plus half a t square. This equation we can use here to find the vertical motion of projectile from O to P. Substitute the value. In place of s I can write y, y equal to ut here in place of u this is initial velocity here it is u sin theta time is a t keep as it is plus 1 by 2 a a equal to minus g i can write plus into minus is minus half g t square is it clear so now this is all about vertical motion let us take it as equation number one similarly i am going to consider horizontal motion Vertical motion is equation 1. Similarly, I am going to consider for horizontal motion. For horizontal motion from O to P. This is vertical motion and this is horizontal motion. For horizontal motion, we can take S equal to X because it is along X axis. Initial velocity which component we have to take here for initial velocity along x axis means we can take u cos theta. Then time is t. Now here the suitable equation I can use here is here I am going to write. Therefore we can take velocity that is rate of change of displacement velocity equal to displacement divided by time taken. Velocity equal to displacement by time. Velocity is u cos theta is equal to displacement is along x axis x divided by t. Or we can write t equal to x divided by u cos theta. Let us take it as equation 2. Equation 1 is for vertical motion. Equation 2 is for horizontal motion. Now we can substitute this equation 2 in equation number 1. In place of t, we can write x divided by u cos theta. What is the next step? Substitute equation 2 in equation 1. What is equation 2? Observe here y equal to u sin theta t minus half g t square. Yes, first I am going to write equation 1 y equal to u sin theta minus u sin theta t minus half g t square. This is equation 2. In place of equation 2, we have to substitute equation 1. u sin theta keep as it is. In place of t, we can substitute equation 2. x divided by u cos theta. x divided by u cos theta minus 1 by 2 g keep as it is in place of t square x divided by u cos theta square. Now solving this equation y equal to we can write here you will get cancel. So we can write the equation sin theta divided by cos theta into x 
minus half g into squaring this equation x square divided by u square cos square theta. Sin by cos is a tan, so we can write y equal to tan x minus 1 by 2. Here we can write this equation as g divided by u square cos square theta into x square. Observe this equation y equal to tan x minus half into g divided by u square cos square theta into x square. Now it is of the form this equation 3 is of the form y equal to ax minus b x square. This is of the form y equal to ax minus b x square where what is the value of a? a equal to tan theta and what is the value of b? b equal to half g divided by u square cos square theta. This is of the form ax minus bx square so that the trajectory of the projectile is a parabola because the final equation is as similar as a parabolic equation that is y equal to ax minus bx square. Here the final equation is tan x minus half g divided by u square cos square theta into x square. This is of the form ax minus bx square. So we can say that the trajectory of a projectile is a parabola. You will get three marks question to prove that a trajectory of a projectile is a parabola. So since it is a parabolic equation, since it is a parabolic equation. Therefore, we can say that trajectory of projectile is parabola. Trajectory of projectile is parabola. This is the conclusion. Is it clear? So initially, we considered vertical motion equation, horizontal motion equation. Substitute equation 2 in 1. Solving this equation, we will get the final answer in the form of parabolic equation. So, we can say that a trajectory of a projectile is a parabola. That means the path of a projectile is just similar to parabola. Is it clear? This is the equation of trajectory of projectile. The next one, the parameters of projectile motion. The very important three parameters of projectile motions are maximum height which is denoted by h, horizontal range which is denoted by r, time of flight which is denoted by t. These are the three parameters of projectile motion. Now we can study one by one. First one is maximum height which is denoted by the letter capital H. What is maximum height? It is maximum vertical distance travelled by projectile from a point of projection. From a point of projection, that means you can observe the diagram from a point O. From a point O, the maximum vertical distance travelled by the projectile. If I am going to take the point Q here. From O to Q is the maximum vertical distance travelled by the projectile from the point of projection and this is called maximum height. What is maximum height? It is maximum vertical distance travelled by the projectile from the point of projection and it is denoted by the symbol H. Now let us find an expression for maximum height. Yes. From vertical motion, you can observe here for vertical motion, what is the initial velocity, what is the displacement, what is the acceleration that we can write first. Yes, I am going to write for vertical motion. Vertical means along y-axis. For vertical motion, we can write initial velocity is equal to, we know that there are two components for initial velocity that is u cos theta and u sin theta. Along y axis means we can consider the component u sin theta. Then what, what about displacement? Displacement is generally denoted by s. s equal to it is along y axis. 
but here we want maximum height so we can take the maximum vertical distance is denoted by h then acceleration acceleration is denoted by a a equal to it is vertically upward so we can take minus g then final velocity final velocity is zero because finally that projectile will come back to the ground so the final velocity of that projectile that is v v equal to zero initial velocity is u sin theta final velocity is zero displacement is h acceleration is minus g yes at highest point velocity is completely horizontal that is the vertical velocity is zero what is the vertical velocity that is final velocity is zero exactly at the highest point when we throw a projectile into the space it reaches maximum height then it comes back when it reaches maximum height it's at that point final velocity is zero so now i can use the equation v square equal to u square plus 2 as this equation we can use here final velocity is zero substitute here initial velocity is u sin theta that is u sin theta whole square plus 2 into in place of a we can write minus g in place of s yes, we can write maximum height h yes. substituting all the values we will get u square sin square theta here plus into minus will be minus 2 g h u square sin square theta minus 2 g h minus 2 g h we can take on lh side it will become plus 2 g h is equal to u square sin square theta 2 g h is equal to u square sin square theta or this equation can be written as or we can write h equal to the equation becomes u square sin square theta divided by 2 g so this is the maximum height reached by the projectile what is the final equation h equal to u square sin square theta divided by 2g this is all about maximum height